Hi Movers, Leia here. Welcome to my Active Office Break series where I am showing you exercises that you can do either in the office or at home if you're working from home to give your body a break from long sitting hours and to get some blood going. And if you aren't yet, don't forget to click the button below and subscribe to my channel. We'll start standing up. Your feet are approximately as wide as your hips are and we're just going to stretch our neck a little bit. So what I want you to do is I want you to place your hands back on your head and gently push your head forward until your chin is stuck on your chest and just hold here and breathe until you feel a nice stretch in your neck and then slowly release your hands and now you're going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction so you want to look up lean back thinking about the crown of your head touching the floor behind you and only go as far as you comfortably can and then slowly come up you can repeat this a few more times if you feel like uh, repeating it, but you should already start feeling the stretch. And we'll do the same thing on the side. So now you want to place your right hand on the side, on the left side of your head, and gently pull it with you down towards the right side. And at the same time, try to push that left arm down like a counter stretch so this way you will feel it way more here in your neck please be careful with those exercises i don't want you to uh, hurt yourself there should be no sharp shooting pain it's really just the neck stretch and then release slowly and change sides so push your head in the other direction and stretch the opposite arm down onto the ground in order to feel a little bit uh, bigger stretch here in your neck and then slowly release your hand we'll do the ragdoll pose so keep your uh, feet a little bit wider than your hips are make a micro bend in your knees grab hold of your elbows and then just gently lean over your body as low as you can relax your shoulders relax your neck and just stay here for eight seconds breathe the whole time inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale Exhale, one last breath in, and exhale, and slowly roll back up. This ragdoll pose is very good pose to open the whole back of your body, and it's also a very good stretch for your hamstrings. And you can stay here for up to five minutes if you want to, if you have time. The more relaxed you get, the better for your body. But if you are staying here for a longer time, breathe. So the best thing that you can do is to take four inhales in and then eight exhales out. So in through your nose for four and then out through your mouth for eight. This next pose is so-called arrow pose. So you're going to um, clasp your hands together behind you, put them all the way together. And now you want to push your hands down, thinking about meeting your, pushing your shoulder blades together and leaning back with your head and opening your chest and sternum up. You can keep your knees bent for support. You can close your eyes here and just breathe and relax. And you can feel your chest stretching and your shoulders stretching. 
and just breathe and hold. Eight seconds. You can do it more, you can do it less. Think about pulling your hands down towards the floor. Relax as much as you can in this pose, keeping your hip tucked in or pelvis tucked in the whole time. We're really working just on our chest here. And then slowly release the pose. You can repeat that a few more times if you feel like it, and you can even hold that for up to, let's say, a minute if you have time. For the next exercise, you want to lean over your chair or your desk. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the leg up behind you. And here, I want you to feel this hamstring muscle working. I want to hold for the for two seconds or three seconds and then let go. So I'm really very comfortable and very relaxed in my upper body and the only muscle that is working is my hamstring here behind me. So I just want to bring my leg up, hold and then release. I will do that eight times with each leg. You can do more, you can do less. This ex ex exercise is very useful and beneficial for you if you sit down a lot because this hamstring muscle is very often um, neglected but it is very important because it's working with almost every movement that we're doing throughout the day and you want to make it strong but you also want to make it um, stretchy or stretched okay so about eight times on each side and then we're going to change leg here. So hold and let go and do it one more time. And let go. So go as far as you feel the stretch. If this means you're only up to here, that's fine. If you can go higher up, that's fine. I don't want you to include the hip here. It's really just the hamstring work. Nothing else is really engaged here except maybe your hands, you're uh, leaning on them for support. So about eight times with each leg. And now that we uh, worked on our hamstring, we want to work on the opposite muscle and that is this thigh muscle here. And so we're going to stretch it because we're using it a lot when we're running, walking, throughout our daily practice, but we are very rarely stretching it. So what you're going to, go, going to do is you want to hold the chair for support and grab your left leg um, by the ankle. And now when you're holding your leg, you want to keep pointing the knee down, but also you want to push your pelvis in and you want to engage it and keeping, keeping it in the whole time, trying to point the knee as down as you can. If this means that you're here, that's fine. Wherever you feel this stretch here, just make sure that your pelvis is tucked in, knee is kind of looking down and the knees are together. So you're not moving the leg to the side and you wanna hold here for three seconds and release. And then again, push the pelvis in, hold, breathe and release. Again, push pelvis in or tuck it in, hold, breathe, release, and we'll do one more. Push in, hold, breathe, and let go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So you can do more, you can do about eight or 10 with each leg, and you can hold it for three to five seconds here in this position, and then let go, release, and do it all over again. So one more, push, pelvis goes in, knees pointing down towards the floor. It is parallel to the, the other knee or as parallel as it goes. Hold, breathe. You already might be feeling this very intense stretching here in your thigh muscles. Let's do one more. And then release. And you can shake your legs out a bit. 
So the more repetition, the better, or don't over exaggerate, but do about eight on each side, and then you can slowly progress or increase the number of repetitions.